This is Rachel Garceau with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, we talked a few minutes ago about those blazing hot temperatures from across not just Idaho, but the entire West. We saw anywhere from 118 to 120 degree high temperatures for portions of Southern California yesterday. That puts our 105 for Boise in a little bit more perspective, right? But still, it was almost unbearably hot at times. We were outside in the backyard, even hanging out in the pool for close to an hour was almost too much. And that's how it will be again today as we do have that approach impressive heat that will once again take over. Look at our warm start. It's gorgeous out there. Clear skies. We're at 74 in Boise right now. Beautiful sunrise in Twin Falls. We're at 66 degrees. Even in Haley, we are still in the low 60s to kick things off on this Friday morning. So no surprise when we talk about more triple digit highs. We have that excessive heat warning that continues for today all the way up now into the upper Weezer River Basin area. It's been expanded a bit by the National Weather Service and a heated Advisory now covers the entire Magic Valley for today as well because of triple digit highs in many places there. Overnight, we saw just a couple of quick showers and then a little bit of thunderstorm activity in portions of kind of east central Idaho, not so much around the Treasure Valley. The McCall area saw a sprinkle or two early today. We may see that play out again late in the day today, but otherwise, sunshine and heat really will dominate. In fact, all the way through the weekend, even though today will be our last scorching hot day where we have that excessive heat warning in play, this ridge of high pressure will still be the dominant feature at least for a couple more days. So to wrap up July and then kick off August this weekend, we continue those triple digit high temperatures. Once again, look across the desert southwest, Phoenix up to 115 it is going to be unbearably hot again down to the south and 104 in Boise isn't all that bearable either. As we look ahead, though, especially at the mountains, as far as McCall's extended forecast goes for the next several days, still in the 90s today, hovering right around 90 through the weekend. And then finally, by next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we will start getting some relief from the heat with a dry, cool front that pushes through and we'll see temperatures back down below average for the first time in a while here in the Treasure Valley. So for your Friday, sunny and very, very hot. We will get a breeze at times. It will be a warm wind. Won't offer a lot of relief except maybe to wick the sweat off your brow. 106 potentially again out towards Ontario. 104 in Boise, even in Garden Valley and Idaho City. We'll see triple digits. Look at Riggins just blazing hot. 107 there. 93 from a call today. In the East Central Mountains, sunny, very warm. Low 90s for Stanley and Sun Valley. Stanley only got to 88 yesterday. So hotter there. 90 seven in Fairfield and look at these temperatures in the Magic Valley 100 in Twin Falls potentially 104 for Shoshone with some gusty winds at times so over the weekend still triple digits not as hot as today but not all that different 101 for Saturday and Sunday then there's that relief coming in by Tuesday with a high temperature of 90 sounds pretty good after the heat we're experiencing this week